teammates, I'm Alex. Alam Gasson. Welcome to PowerMate. This is a place to learn and share about Powerbrick and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we are diving into one of the most powerful tools for automation, that is Power Automate. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just in getting started, you probably hit a few snacks along the way. So, no worries. In this video, we are going to cover five of the most common errors in Power Automate and more importantly, how to fix them. So let's get started. Yeah, it's so, okay. First up, uh, invalid connections. This is one of the most uh, frequent error you will run into. So it happened when your flow is trying to use an account or a service account that either uh, doesn't have the, the, the right or the permissions or hasn't been authenticated properly. So you will often see this server when you are using services like, I don't know, SharePoint, Outlook, maybe SQL or, or Fabric in that case. So that the fix is pretty simple. You go to the connections tab and re-authenticate the service. That's it's like throwing the error. Something that happens to me all the time, make sure your credentials haven't expired. So sometimes connections lose authentication, or especially after password changes and so on. So be sure on that. Yeah, exactly. So go to your flow, open the connection, click on the fixed connection link. So once reconnect, run the flow again, and you should be good. So error number two. Trigger failures. This happens when the event that's supposed to start your flow isn't firing as expected. Yeah, this this is usually caused by a configuration issue, you know, uh, with your trigger. For instance, maybe you are trying to trigger uh, a flow, uh, for example, from a SharePoint list, and when a new item is created, but but is isn't working. To troubleshoot that, uh, first double check that your trigger conditions are correct, first of all, and also verify that the necessary permissions are set in the application you are using. Uh, if the trigger is set to look for change or, or additions, so make sure your flow logic match the data uh, you are working with. Sometimes adding a delay or, or adjusting the trigger condition can help. And don't forget, Test again your flow after each adjustment uh, to see if the trigger fires properly. Uh, next up, uh, loop failures. Three. So you're trying to process multiple items in a loop, but for some reason, the flow either gets stuck or fails halfway. Yeah, again, this is another common error that typically uh, happens when the flow hits the processing limit or, or, or is looping through many items at once. So Power Automate uh, has a built-in threshold uh, for loops. To resolve this, you can increase the, the concurrency control of the loop using the pagination break down the process into a small chunks. In order to do that, it's like go to settings on your loop actions, you know, uh, the, the, the actions you are in your flow, the, the iterate through, while, or different loops in the Power Automate. Go to the loop action and toggle on the con concurrency control. And this lets you to process items in parallel, speeding up the flow and, and preventing to hit the timeout. By default, it's processed one item at a time, uh, but you can set this to process up to 50 simultaneously. So just be careful to not overload your system, but you should be good. Now, error number four. So this is the classic expression errors. If you're trying using custom expressions in Power Automate, you probably seen one of these. Yeah, expression error usually happen when there's a syntax mistake. Uh, you know, I came from the for the coding service. I'm still as a developer, so it's something you know natural when you are coding, you can have syntax mistakes. So you are trying to reference that uh, data that doesn't exist. Uh, for instance, you are trying to add like two fields together, but one is missing, so you will get an error. 
to fix it, uh, double, uh, first of all, double check your syntax uh, expression, of course. See if, if you are working on Power Automate, for example, uh, Power Automate uh, text box is going to show you and highlight if you have some errors, but maybe uh, there's something else. So to double check, Power Automate expressions are case sensitive. So just check that you have like you know, the right case on the on the words. So watch, of course, for the capitalization errors and also use the peak code feature uh, to understand the structure of your data because you probably are working with uh, objects or you are not access to the right property or, or you are a high level or low level trying to access to a property. So you can check your, 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 your structure of your data. So uh, using the pickle helps you to ensure that the data path in your expression is correct, reducing the likelihood of mistake, of course. So two things here, first of all, check the syntax and second, check the uh, data structure. And finally, uh, the number five, we got timeouts and delays. This happens when a flow takes too long to run and the system times, times out. Yeah, so, you know, this is usually common or this is especially common in complex flows, you know, that interact with external services. So Power Automate has uh, default time limits for actions. So, and if an action doesn't complete with that time, uh, the flow fails. So, to prevent timeout, you can increase, as I mentioned before, in, for other things, you can increase the timeout limit on a specific actions. Uh, so, again, go to settings of the action and check the, the timeout number and set a longer timeout if you know, of course, okay, I'm calling that REST API. I know that the response is going to take 20 seconds. Okay, let, let's uh, extend the timeout. Also, adding retries uh, for action can help the flow to complete successfully even after a delay. Because maybe for some reason you are calling a REST API and, and you are supposed to, that's supposed to take 20 seconds, but for some reason take 40 and that you get a, a, a timeout. But if you set the retry on one or two retries, probably second time you're getting the response on the proper time and, and you're going to, to fill the task. And then you have it, uh, the five most, from my perspective, the five most common errors in Power Automate and, and how to fix them. So remember, uh, troubleshooting is normal part of working with automation or code or data, Power BI, whatever you're doing, probably the troubleshooting is something common. Uh, so you can get your flows running smoothly taking those of those advice we we, we take you yeah yeah right on alex uh, thanks for all the tips and thanks all of you for watching this video if you found this video helpful for you make sure to hit the like button subscribe for more power automate tips and drop a comment below if you have any specific questions around all of this so for now until next time and keep automating yeah and as usual don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential of Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. See ya. Yeah.